We got so many Polish snacks at the supermarket and we can't wait to try them all. Polish food has been incredibly good. So I feel like these snacks are gonna be just as good. Obviously we have to get some uh, dried sausage. I think they're like pork links sort of, but we read that we have to get this brand. So let's do it. We got our cabanose here. Do you want to open one and I'll open one? Yeah, we got two just for fun because we figured we would probably enjoy this and a great first one to try. Oh my gosh, we opened it and it smells so good. Yeah. Do you smell it? It smells like beef jerky. I feel like it's probably going to taste like beef jerky. That one smells sweeter than this one. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's so soft. This one's a lot thicker than that one. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, it's really good. Oh, nice, yeah. thick sausage. Mm. I enjoy that for sure. This is so good. Oh, this one. Those are thin. Oh. It might all be one sausage. <laughs> we'll just take a little bite. Yeah. Is it? Probably yeah. keep it in the bag. Well, it's like all these ones up. were connected and I had to rip it off. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I ripped off <laughs> that little piece of it. What? Is it bad? It definitely has a different taste than that first one. Hmm. I almost wonder if this is like chicken. Like this is pork and this is chicken or something. I think this one is the winner in my book. And they both say pork. I don't know what the difference is. One of them just thicker than the other. And I think the thicker one also tastes better than the- Yeah, this one's a one. little bit sweet almost. It's interesting because this one smelled like sweet. Hmm. I mean, I like both of them, so. Mmm, so good. Wow. Starting out with a winner. So we knew that we had to get some sort of like Krakow, Krauki. <laughs> and so we, I was looking at this. These are our two options. This looks like really, really big. I know this might be the more traditional route to go, but I just found this chocolate bar and it looks so good. I think there's like some caramel in there. Looks delicious, so I'm gonna get this one. Let me know if it was a mistake to not get these candies. Let's try the Krau Kakoa. I am looking forward to this one because so many people recommended it online, so. I mean, you can't really go wrong with like chocolate and caramel, like that always goes well together. These Polish snacks just smell so good the second you open the wrapper. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be so good. It's chocolate with, um, What's caramel. inside? Caramel, caramel inside? I think. It looks like caramel. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I think the bag of candies that we were looking at at the supermarket, they were like caramel was on the outside. Mmm. And this one, I'm like, I love chocolate, so mm. why not get these? The caramel is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but it is delicious. It's less like creamy. It doesn't get stuck on your teeth as much, which is mm -hmm. nice because normally when you eat caramel, it gets stuck on your teeth. This one kind of melts right away in your mouth yeah. and it's milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, yeah. Mm, this is definitely good. a winner and we have a lot left over for after this video. <laughs> we know for a fact that we have to try this thing. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but we're gonna get it. This There were a couple of different flavors, but we got the spicy one. Now it is time for some, I think paprika chips? Yeah, it, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> I don't know, but this was the label on like a lot of the different flavors. So they're like puffed a little bit. Yeah, they're like, whoa, they're like almost look like scoops. Like you can see through them. Yeah, there's a lot of flavoring on there. I'm not gonna lie, these ones don't smell that great. I don't oh. dislike them. Kinda it's a lot saltier than I thought. At the end. At the end, at the very end, there's a lot of seasoning and a saltiness. Lot of salt, yeah. But at the beginning, there really wasn't that much. Actually, the texture is really interesting because it's like airy. Mm -hmm. It's like the like wafer, like kind of like texture. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try wafers a lot of them. In a They're little bit. good. They're kind of growing on me actually. When I first took a bite of them, I kind of got like chills on my body. It was, like, <laughs> it was rough on my tongue. <laughs> I'm into it. I don't dislike them. They're just uh, the other things that we've already tried. They're better than this, but I mean. No, it's good. I I like it. I saw this one when we were walking by it and it says product of Poland and shortbread is my absolute favorite. So we're heavy on the sweets, but I think this one's gonna be really good. Shortbread 
is my thing. I am so excited to try these shortbread cookies with jam. I am, I'm very excited. Probably not as excited as Jenny, but <laughs> I mean, we'll try them out. Oh, I really hope these are good. I'll be sad if they're not. Yeah. Let's see if we can smell it like we've smelled the other snacks. Ooh, like raspberry jam. Look at that. Oh, Is that what yeah. the filling is, raspberry? I don't know, I'm just guessing. It might be. Oh, oh I'm so excited for this. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. That is very chewy. The raspberry filling is like almost like gum. I was not expecting it to be like that hard to bite through. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. The cookie is really, really soft. I feel like the shortbread that I'm used to is actually pretty hard, but this is a lot softer. I'm gonna try to take a bite without any of the raspberry and just the shortbread. I think they're good. They're, they're solid. Mm. This one's probably my least favorite that we've tried so far, which is a bummer because I love shortbread and I was really excited for these ones. You were looking forward to I it. I was really looking forward to it. <laughs> the raspberry filling is so hard. It's like gum. It's like hard. Yo, yeah. did you see that? I, like, I couldn't like pull it. The raspberry filling does have a good flavor though. I like that it's a little bit sour. That's nice. We fell in love with this traditional Polish vodka that we tried at a restaurant during our food tour. We didn't look at the bottle, which we totally should have, so we're just guessing, but this one says traditional vodka. So we're gonna try it, and hopefully it's the one that we tried at the restaurant. We're about to get crunk. Just kidding. <laughs> Here's the vodka. I'm, I'm so happy that it's spelled with a W at the beginning of the word, vodka. <laughs> I love that. Vod yeah, vodka. Yeah. I really hope that this is the same one that we had in that restaurant. I'm gonna be sad if it's not. It, that was so, it was, it wasn't just like, oh, I'm drinking because it's alcohol. Like, it was delicious. It was so good. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. Oh my gosh! All right, well. Hey, I like it. Is it the same one that we got before? Uh, you can definitely taste the alcohol a lot I can more. smell it. I can, can smell it. Like on the other one that we had, this was on our food tour, right? I'm just like, gonna take a was, little bit. It was just like so smooth. Just went down and it tasted delicious. Oh, this smells like alcohol. The other one didn't smell like alcohol and that's why I liked it. Yeah. It doesn't taste like that one at all. No. I mean, it's good. It's good vodka. But the one that we had at this restaurant, it like, it just tasted like cinnamon. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I was really looking forward to this one. Unfortunately, it's not the same, but I wouldn't call this bad. No, vodka. it's definitely no. very good. No. I just thought it was gonna be a lot sweeter and less alcoholy. <laughs> that one probably had a lot less percentage of alcohol in that one. Jacob's uh, getting stuff to clean up the vodka that he spilled, but my throat is so warm right now. Is yours warm? Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I feel different now. This one looks so delicious. We weren't quite sure if it was Polish, so we looked it up and we believe that it is. Hazelnut and chocolate is like my favorite ever, so I think I'm really gonna like this one. Happy time. I'm just surprised I spilled the vodka before I actually drank any of it. <laughs> Oh well. Now, hopefully this will make up for my sadness with the shortbread. Happy time hazelnut. It looks so delicious. It looks so delicious. Yeah, the last few have been like, all right. It's just all right, but- We started out really high and then we, the last two have brought us really low. I like that these are individually packaged because we cannot eat all of these snacks in one sitting. Wait, <laughs> you don't know. Oh, are, we're gonna have to split one? Chico, they're huge. Oh, look at that crispy wafer. I feel like this is gonna taste like that candy kinder. Maybe. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Wow, I love anything wafers. That's why I'm so excited to try. Like, we got a bunch of wafers. Oh, but... this one has a lot more hazelnut flavor than the Kinder does, and it's a lot bigger and thicker. I'm into it. Do you bigger want them? Bigger and thicker. Yeah. Bigger and thicker. Should I take the rest? Yeah, that was really good. I'm not usually like a huge hazelnut kind of fan, but those are delicious. The hazelnut flavor is so strong. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like the overarching flavor. Like, the chocolate's there, the wafer's there, but the hazelnut is like top 
punch in the face flavor. <laughs> when I looked up Polish chips, this was the first brand to come up. And so, of course, we got to get some. Wajski <laughs> chips. I'm pumped for these. Oops. I think they're cheese flavored. Definitely looks like cheese flavored. What do they smell like? Ooh, they don't smell like cheese. They just smell like salt, maybe? Just straight potatoes. Oh, yeah, baby. I mean, yeah, there's potatoes on the bag and there's also cheese on the bag. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Yeah, they're definitely like cheese. Like they remind me of like- That was a strong cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm I love it. What does it remind you of? Mm, it reminds me of my favorite chips back at home. Oh, the yeah. cheddar and sour cream ones. Cheddar and sour cream, the like really orange chips. I guess we could have translated the Maslow. It's more fun when it's a surprise. I feel like you can tell that we like it because we keep going back for more. <laughs> yeah, those are good. I mean, potato chips. It's hard to go wrong with potato chips. We love potato <laughs> chips. We do. We eat them all the time. We should probably eat them a little bit less. Definitely. I want to translate it to make sure. I mean, I'm sure it just says oh, cheese and potato, but might as well. Is, oh. it, is that saying butter? Butter? Butter with oh. salt. What? That's There's what it says. There's no cheese? It says butter with salt. It's like the... No, but there is cheese. Unless... That's not cheese, that's butter. Oh my God. Wait, is the whole thing butter? Yeah, you're the right. The entire... It's a potato chip with butter and that's <laughs> it. That's funny. There's no cheese They're there. They're almost like the honey butter chips from Korea. Yeah, I think we tricked ourselves because we just thought it was cheese. Yeah, the power of suggestion, man. I can't taste the butter now. Yeah, that's very strong butter. That Oops. is crazy. Wow. How strong our brains are when we think that it's something else. I mean, they're both like... They're kind of similar. Dairy, yeah. right? Dairy, is, yeah. Is butter dairy? Yeah, butter so, dairy. Yeah, so... I mean, we gotta put these away. We're gonna eat all of these and we still have more snacks to go. No yeah, way. I'll take them. Oh, I love these. These might be my favorite next to the uh, dried sausages. Those were... And we are gonna grab these two Polish beers. So we got two Polish beers to try and at our Airbnb, they just conveniently had this beer mug. That is the exact same brand as what we brought. So... Well, now I'm... this one feels left out now. Are we gonna try that one first? Or I think we... so, we gotta pour it in the glass. It makes me think that this one's gonna be better than this one. I know, preconceived notion in our head now. Let's see, so this one is vodka. Wow, mm. this really fills up the whole thing. Mm. We left them outside in the snow and now we have a, the beer mm. glass was also in the snow. It's hard to get it because there's so much foam. You have to like. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's good. I'd say that's a decent beer. Yeah, I like it. We're not beer fans, but when we walked down the aisle at the grocery store, we saw both of them and we're like, this they would be- They were like less than a dollar each. So. Yeah. We figured we should at least like give them a try, like the local beer. We haven't really, we did get a beer oh. at one of the restaurants, but we don't know what brand it this was. This one is very different than that one. It's like a stronger taste. Like that's very light and mild and this is a lot stronger. Yeah, I definitely taste that. I think I like this one more. I don't know. If you like that one, I could probably take this one. I'm a Oko Kim girl. Yeah, the Vorka has a very strong flavor and the Oko Kim has a very mild flavor. This is a Polish donut and it's by a company that makes really good chocolate here, so definitely had to get this one. Ooh, let's try the donut. We're not gonna try this one yet. The Prince Polo? I know, that's you've been waiting for that one. I've been waiting because we have three different ones to try to see which one's better of all like the wafers. But... Oh, I'm really excited. I feel like this is gonna be so good, a chocolate donut. Especially because the chocolate's made from like one of like the famous like mm. chocolate producers here in Poland. Mm, it's so good. It's yeah. so good. It's just like, it's just a donut with yeah. a ton of like it's really just, good it chocolate. It tastes like a chocolate donut. Mm. Good, right? Want another bite? Well, I'll take the next bite. Hey! Is it also filled with chocolate? Yeah, it is. I can't believe you didn't let me have the next bite. That's my bite. You know like when you normally have a donut, it's like all filling? I like this better because there's just little like dips of the filling. It's not overwhelming. Mm. Oh, just kidding. Oh, that is a <laughs> lot of chocolate in there. It almost tastes like Nutella though. 
Dude, you have to bite this. The I think filling the filling is so good. I think it'll make it like feel like a softer donut mm. than, than like what I had been. It's like eating. Nutella filling, I think. Oh yeah, that's some good filling. You're drinking the beer. Yeah, beer and donut. Wow. I promise we eat healthier than this. <laughs> that is true. We like got a bunch of like. Oh. I actually bought a bunch of salad and tomatoes in our fridge. This is just. You know, we gotta try the Polish snacks. Mm. But nobody wants to watch us eat a salad and tomatoes. You guys wanna watch us eat the good stuff. We found it, the Prince Polo Double XL. Wow, this was like, we had to find this while we were here. This looks delicious, it's like a wafer. Can't wait to try it. While we're standing here getting this, there are two other ones that look very, very similar. Princessa Zebra. This one looks like it might beat out this, but of course we'll try them all. And then this one, sorry for not being able to pronounce what this says, <laughs> but I mean, all three of these look so delicious. And they're so cheap. And they're so cheap. Like getting all three of these combined, it's like just a little bit more than one US dollar. But now we get to try Prince. What Jacob's been Polo. waiting for. Oh yeah. Well, here you hold that. Oh. You hold that while I get the other two. This one and this one. <laughs> wow. So many wafers. I am personally looking forward to the zebra one the most, but. That's because you like cookies and cream. I bet it's cookies and cream yeah. kind of. Well, and I like zebras, the animal. Oh, They're yeah. fun too. Okay, I'm not a big wafer girl, so I'm probably not gonna love these as much as Jacob is. Oh wow, it is literally one giant chocolate covered wafer. Is that it? Is, yeah. Is that the same one that, did they all just copy each other? Is, is that what happened? Mmm. Out of all the wafers I've eaten. Oh! Wow, don't, now we're both dropping Don't stuff. drop the prints. Okay, I actually think this one's pretty good. Cause it's like fully, fully covered in chocolate. Well then this one is not fully covered in chocolate. Mm -mm -mm, bad zebra, bad zebra. But then this one is. Mm. Okay, so. Oh yeah. You love Prince Polo? Okay, so. Prince you, Polo won my heart. Sorry, Jacob. You love that. <laughs> you hold the other two. You hold the other two. And I will try this one. I'm gonna eat it while you try it. Oh no, Princess is not No? It. Okay, this one's okay. This one's like salty. This one's okay, why is that one salty? You, when you- Oh yeah. Shut up. When, that's it, when that's you, it. No, Princess, yeah. No. When you go from the chocolate covered ooey gooey youngest no, 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 no. to this dry thing, no. Get out of here, Prince Polo. No, 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 this You're one. You're wrong. This wow. one is You so like the good. princess and I like the prince. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we can meet on mutual ground for this one. Oh, no, no, this is, this is it, this is it. Oh, this one's pretty good too. This one, okay, let me print. This one has dark chocolate and that's really good. This one is melt chocolate and this one's just get the zebra out of here. Mm, okay, wow, all They're, right. Okay, get the princess out of here. No, the no, other no. two are amazing. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Ranked them in order. First, second, third. Okay, and mine would be first, second, third. No way. Actually, this one's pretty good. These two are like tied for me. Here, eat a bite of each of them just to try well, them Well, this one's just dark chocolate, it feels like more, and this one's more melt chocolate, so. I'm just happy I get this one all to myself. Oh. This one's delicious. I'm so full. Gotta take a bite of each I of them. I feel like a kid being like forced to eat their dinner. <laughs> Which one Ooh. do you like more? Prince. Oh, okay. So number one, but also my number three. What? And then, do you think this is number three? Compared, compared to this one. Jacob. Some, mm. What? I get it all to myself. I'm so confused by this analysis. I really hope this is Polish. I know it says Nestle on there, so that's like kind of throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, but see, I... I like the true Polish brands. <laughs> wow. That's all Honestly, right. I need to go for a 17 mile run right now. Yeah, really, we're actually gonna go do that right now in the complete dark outside, so. <laughs> we will see you later. We really hope you enjoyed this Polish snack food tour, and we will see you in the next Poland video. We're not.